Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the fridge. Isn't that something different? Um, definitely not. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I can't believe Philly's camera actually fits in the fridge. My camera would never fit in this fridge. Like, it just won't happen. Time to start the day. If you guys know what I start the day with, some coffee. And definitely, the best thing in this ah, fridge. Look how this is so slim and it just, you can just fit so many water bottles this way or this way and just square it up. This thing is amazing. You guys can actually purchase this online on uh, cocaine.com.au. Don't forget, it's only like 20 bucks or something like that. And it's really hard plastic. It's not like the cheap, like, like this is like, oh, okay, that's hurting me more than, oh, let's start there. Well, I fucked up. Milk. It's you again. You're everywhere we go. You're everywhere. Obviously, guys, we're at the warehouse, as always, at the office. What do you call this, babe? This is our warehouse, this is our office. Because a warehousing is like a warehousing space. Like For me, I call it the warehouse because it actually is a warehouse. But I know some people, you call it the office. I think upstairs is the office, but I'm in the warehouse. This is definitely a warehouse. Yeah. So, yeah, I reckon in the mez is... is is the office down here is like the, yeah. the and I think it's just it, for me I'm just used to saying the warehouse because that's what I see it as and that's what I'm down here doing all the time that's what we're always doing down here anyway guys so on today's uh, journey I'm gonna show you guys some samplings um, what we do how we visually print stuff and and sort of just be like okay this is gonna work this is not gonna work and stuff like that as you probably guys can see down here um, we printed a whole bunch of the new designs sort of like i can't really show you guys because this is like six to eight months worth of new designs It's actually going all the way across this whole table but usually what we do we print it out we mock it up put it on uh, um just a blank jumper to see like we need to visually see it just because like i, well, I personally vi visually see it and sort of like do up the mood board because a lot of things look good on screen and then when you get it made it's not as as pretty as you probably thought it would be and then this way as well i could be like yep this size is too big this size is too small and whatnot so what we usually do is just print it out put it on a jumper see how it feels how it looks and then we get it mass produced because obviously this way for us saves us money on sampling costs, saves us money on time, and also gives me a visual of, okay, cool, this is what the drop's gonna look like, this is what the clothing's gonna look like, and then we can move on from there. Anyway, guys, let's start this day. It's gonna be a long ass day for me. Today, we just need to, like, literally catch up on as much as possible, and we're doing a lot of, I'm personally doing a lot of social media work uh, in the next couple of days just to actually grow our social media, just because, as well, more eyes on socials means more sales in general more everything more everything more views means more everything and that's pretty much what i need to work on today and i'll show you guys what i'm doing as well because a lot of people just wondered how we grew our socials so quickly or or whatever but right now i feel like our socials are plateauing don't you feel like that um it's not plateauing but it's not growing as fast as it used to because yeah. it's just I, I just like, yeah meh. but i believe like social media only like some like if it's viral, it's viral. It's like well, yeah. you don't know how it's gonna go viral. But also, do you feel like, do you feel like that we're becoming like old? Like we're not up with like TikTok and all that stuff. Like, but we we, we are, but we aren't. Like yeah, and I just feel like TikTok for a clothing brand, it's 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 hard. It's it's like it's hit and miss. Like yeah. I did try do the TikTok, but it's like a lot because trying to do Instagram, trying to do TikTok, trying to make things and all that stuff. And it's like I think. The reason why kids these days, like actual kids are becoming viral is because they don't have time. Like, I mean, they, they, have, they time. have time to just 
do, do stupid do shit. Do dumb shit. Like. Yeah, and we don't have time to do that. And we're, yeah. we're, we've got a full time uh, photographer and videographer as well. But that's like using it for like Instagram ads, Facebook ads, uh, like using him for content awareness and stuff like that. Like he can't like just hold a phone and sort of do TikTok because you can't you can't make we can't make this and then make it into a TikTok. Yeah, fair. But in TikTok is like the rawness of it. Like, mm. like if you pre-edit everything, pre-film everything, it's sort of like, eh. Yeah, like I've noticed, I have like a viral video on my personal <laughs> one and it's of Honey and it's not even like matched on time. It's honestly awful, but it's got like 300K views. Like what That's the rough. heck? So it's currently uh, 6.29 in the afternoon. I would say like late night. But, so, I'll show you guys what I've been working on. So this is the, um, this is the Instagram pullout of all our followers on Instagram. So we can sort them by like how many followers they have or how many people they follow, how many times they post on Instagram. It's a massive, huge, huge Excel spreadsheet because we have over 40,000 followers on cocaine. As you guys can see, I'm just scrolling, 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 scrolling. So what I'm doing is actually uh, trying to increase our our follower count. And the way that we want to do that is actually to give back to our followers and just target the, follow the people who have high following. So what I'm doing as well is using uh, Instagram on the computer. I don't know if you guys know you can do that. And I'm just sending messages to people who want just to either just endorse our brand or sponsor our brand and post it on their Instagram whenever they possibly can. This is one method I'm going to be doing just to increase the followers because as I said before, more views on our Instagram or our socials equals more views to our website, which equals more sales, which equals a bunch of other things. How much are we gonna invest into this? I'm gonna, like we're arrest, already invested about a couple hundred dollars to get someone to actually do this because this is very uh, time consuming because it has everything. Their email addresses that they registered on for Instagram, their uh, full names or whatever name they use to actually um, register their Instagram and stuff like that, all their handles, everything. It has every single information that you sort of input into your uh, Instagram whilst when you sign up, they're able to get it. It is free public information. It's just very time consuming if you do it on your own, if you sit there and go through your phone and look at all the Instagram people. So technically what I reckon they did uh, was, let's say for example, let's do it with Joe's uh, Instagram account. You would go to, this is Joe, see, and then it'll be like, yep, cool. That's how many uh, posts he's done. That's how many f uh, he follows. That's how many people rides and that. And they probably go to like, uh, oh, I nearly unfollowed my boy, uh, to their profile of some sort and then pull pulled out like their first name and then their bio and whatever links they have. That's pretty much all the information I have on this Excel spreadsheet. Yes, this is crazy, I know. All right guys, so it's currently the next day. We've sent out some parcels already for the influencers. As you guys know, so cocaine is currently sitting on. I'm gonna show you guys. I really wanna break this down because I wanna be super informative for you guys. We are sitting on uh, 41,000 followers, 41,000. So. We have been working with some influencers prior this day. So we were sitting on like, like honestly, like a week prior, I, I can actually pull up the mats right now. So we actually started this last uh, Thursday and uh, the first influencer actually received their stuff on the Friday and she made a post and that post actually gave us 55 new followers right there. 55 right there. So the current um, app that I'm using is, it's not an app, it's an actual website that you can go on. It's, sorry, I'm just getting crazy Instagram stuff right now. Socialblade.com. So you literally can uh, get a breakdown of everything and everyone. So what I'm gonna do, one thing that I love doing is visualizing and actually putting goals on this board. A lot of you guys know that this board here is for all my special ideas and plans and stuff like that. So today, me and you, me and you guys, you guys can actually walk through with this. So today's date, let's do today's date is uh, April the 8th. So April the 8th. So the goal is 50K. I'm gonna try to do it in maybe like two to three months 
it is a massive goal to actually grow 9,000 followers on basic, like, we don't want to do anything viral, we don't want to do anything crazy. Our plan to actually grow our Instagram is supernatural and we don't want to do forced paid influencer work. Like we don't want to give an influencer like $10,000. We could simply just be like, okay, cool. Let's, let's hit up Travis Scott, give him 50 grand to just do a single Instagram story. That's something that we don't want to do, right? So on April 8th right now, we are on 41,000. That's, that's what we're on right now, 41,042. So on a weekly average, you can actually see a weekly average on this. Let's see if I'm, uh, today is Thursday, so if, uh, what is it? What is our weekly average? So our daily average is plus a three, but some days we actually get a lot of followers, we like, get 55 followers and then some days we lose like 10 to 5 followers so it sort of balances out. What you guys got to understand as well, Instagram is actually going through and deleting and deactivating Instagram people who don't use their Instagram at all. So if you don't, you know they don't post for 6 to 8 months or a year or 2 years or something like that, I don't know exactly uh, how long until you get deactivated but that's what they're doing. So I will get a couple a day. Um, so, sorry, I'm very not prepared for this, but, uh, oh, this is an easy way. In the last 30 days, we followers for like 67. We got, last 30 days, we got 67. That actually does not sound a lot. 30 days, 67 followers. So what I actually want to be at by April, May 8th. So we average 67 currently, right? So now I'm doing a massive, I'm gonna do giveaways. I'm gonna plan a whole campaign to actually get to this 50K goal in three months, right? So I've got May 8th, then I've got May, April, May, June, and then July. Right, so, in theory, I need to grow, so there's 9,000 there, so 3K per month. To actually hit my goal. And we are only currently averaging 67. So 3,000 followers a month is gonna be insane. That means we need to do 100 followers a day. I don't know, honestly, like, through just what we want to do. I actually have no idea if this is possible. It is such a big goal. I, I want to do it with you guys. I want to show you guys how, if it does work, for cocaine.com.au, I want you guys to follow us through to this 50K uh, journey and I'll show you every single trick and trade that I possibly do to do this. So, you guys are going to be wondering what do the influencers get? We are giving them $150 worth of retail goods to actually post, do whatever they want. And I really was specific on who I picked. I could have just gave it to anyone who claims themselves as an influencer. But I looked at their like stories, how much they post, what their outfit looks like, what everything, everything to be like, okay, cool. I want this person to be an ambassador for cocaine. And what we want to do as well is we're not just gonna be like, here, have one one batch of clothing. We want we want to actually give them multiple batches of clothing every single month so they have constant content for themselves as well. And we want to actually have their photos so we can post their photos as well to give it a more natural look and feel. Like, I don't want it to just be like sponsored ad, hashtag or, or some shit like that. I want, I want to be able to give them things that will be first on wardrobe, first in wardrobe, which means that when a person goes out and they choose something to wear, I want it to be cocaine. That's the way that I, I truly believe that we're gonna grow. I don't want to just have like really shitty followers. I don't wanna do like, okay, cool, let's give away $5,000. All you gotta do is tag someone. That's not gonna give us true customers. And I feel like 
I really want true customers and true followers rather than just people following for the sake of trying to win something or, or get something. Giveaways do work to a point and it just, it just depends on what followers you want. Because a lot of accounts that I notice that have massive followings lose massive followings because content doesn't sort of suit their giveaways or whatever. It'll be weird for us just to jump on the bandwagon and give away like a PS5 or something like that. It would make no sense. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end this video here so you guys sort of can understand. I'm gonna keep this white on the whiteboard all the time. I will check up on it with you guys every single week and I'll make a video dedicated to this so you guys may, if you guys can use this to help you guys grow your Instagram for your clothing brand or for whatever brand that you guys want to do, I'll show you guys what I personally do, if it works for me, it might not work for you, but it might give you guys tips. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Arigatou gozaimasu. I'll see you guys on the next video.